Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to calculate final grades of your students based on a particular, particular way. Uh, you may have your own student grade books and uh, if you want to get an idea on how to calculate it automatically or using a, a more simple formula, you can uh, follow my tutorial here here I put sample of 23 students or oh, where each student have uh, 7 score where the first 5 score is uh, they get the first 5 score on this while well, they have 1 mid test and 1 final test uh, maybe you want to put weight on all of these 7 tests here and how to do it I will put uh, a weight cell on top of this score. Basically, you can put it anywhere, but this is the more simple place uh, to put the weight. Okay, now you want to define what percentage you want to give and you want to file. 5, 5, 5, 5 so this is 25 percent and we want to do this 25 and this is 50 percent and it will be better if you put the total percentage in here to make sure that uh, the percentage uh, equal to 100 percent okay. The more the more simple formula to calculate this is using the sum product formula because you just put like this sum product and then select the uh, the row and then put the grid here uh, the weights here sorry okay that's all so it basically the sum product will we will multiply will find this number to this number, this number to this number until all the seven numbers calculated. Then uh, you can copy this below, but you need to put the dollar sign in front of the uh, fourth row to make sure that this reference uh, stay fixed. Okay, then we can copy this below. Okay, this is the score. And now, how to put the grid here? Maybe you have to define a uh, score between particular range to a uh, certain grid. Maybe you have one grid here, A to E. Uh, I think you can try to put a uh, separate table for this proportion. This is the same line range. Range is, uh, is about 80. This is the square. It's about 70, uh, maybe 65, about 50, 25, 30. Yeah, that you can put your own number here. Okay. How to calculate it? Uh, You can do directly just by typing the formula like this. If you can use the function here, score above equal to number. Okay. And then put A. Then if it is not, 
again put a condition is the path I H I H plus I H equal this number fifty nine then B then H L H above H equal uh, to ten then B example for quiz you don't want to put five percent for each quiz but maybe you want to uh, put the average you want to cover the average of this quiz first and then put the weight on this and how to do it okay here i will try to put this That you must be and put 25. Mm -hmm. Then you have to calculate here some product because uh, how to calculate it? it in, in, in this case, uh, it would be better if you use uh, a general function like. Uh, Average, which is average here of this piece. Okay, and then times this plus this times this plus this times this. Okay, this is the value. So it, it's a little bit different. It's lower than a uh, previous uh, score, so you need to make the this equal become uh, six dollar sign. Then you can copy this to okay. Basically, the number of students 
uh, on our genes. So this is if you want to average the quiz and arms with uh, with uh, the with the weights here. And now what about uh, you want to average if you want to average not all quiz, not all quizzes, but you want to average to average uh, the top uh, the high the top three the three highest score for a student for each quiz for example here from the first five you want to average only 75 75 and 75 and north is 67 and 64 and how to do it uh, and then after that you can times it times it with the uh, the weight here to do it if you can see here, you can use the separate function as well, but you need to add the large function to accompany the average. Here, in average, you can put the function large and then put large basically, not the, the, the k is basically the rank. So if you put one, it means it will be the rank number one or the highest number in this group of score okay. and then average again the size large okay this value two and then again large Close the average. Tara. Okay. This is the new score. Then uh, you can copy this again below. Okay. You have more B in this in this calculation. As you see, you can see in the number of students here. Next, uh, after you complete with this, uh, if you have your own student grade book, maybe you have more quizzes or lesser. Maybe you want you want to you can basically use this the same idea to apply to your own grade book using this function. Okay, next, maybe you want to know how to rank this uh, students. To rank the student, I think I will put this in on the right side. I see it to the right. Insert. Okay. I put another. Here, you can use a formula uh, like rank. This is the formula provided by Excel to rank any condition. Rank, of course, based on score. And then, it's rank. Further, you can put 0 for descending or 1 for ascending. So this is the next. But as you can see here, there are for the first two students, they share similar rank. How to make it a different? If you don't have any other condition except just the superiority one as eight and one as nine, you can use uh, the concave formula. Then you just plus concave. Basically, you just count how many similar 
number that uh, the formula will found and if they found more than one they will increase by one and apply it to the next uh, student so the range is a similar here but I want to show you again why I have put it like this Basically, this count it will try to calculate uh, cell by cell here. So that's why the first reference is only on this cell. Because if you put just count it for all cell, it will give you a certain number that uh, not dynamic. For example, if you count two, and then it will uh, here. For example, in the first cell. It doesn't find any similar uh, number, so it won't give an increase on the number. But on the second cell, it found a similar number with the previous one. So if, if you add a uh, number one here, yeah. so why I put minus one? Because as you can see, first count if here it will add one. So to make it go to the original rank, it has to be minus one. And, and this one, since it will uh, yield uh, 2, so it will give this to uh, 10. So we need to increase by 1 to make it just uh, have different only 1 with the previous one. Okay, guys, hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.